Welcome to Because You Asked, I'm Annie Cyrus. Today, I will be answering yet another very popular question that has been sent to us here at the American Truth Project. What is the difference between Quran, Sunnah, and Hadith? Now, starting by Quran, Quran is a book of collections of 114 chapters that were revealed to Muhammad by Allah. Or in other words, Quran is words of Allah. Out of 114 chapters, 86 of them were revealed to Muhammad while he was in Mecca, and 28 of them were revealed to him when he was in Medina. Now, one thing, one little tricky thing about Quran is when you open a Quran, the order that you see the chapters in Quran are not the real order they were revealed to Muhammad. Nobody knows why they are not in proper order, but they just aren't. Now, you need to know all the chapters that were revealed to Muhammad in Medina abrogate the ones that were revealed to Muhammad in Mecca. In other words, the older verses were abrogated by the newer verses. Moving on to Sunnah. Sunnah, in Arabic word, literally means tradition or teaching. So Sunnah is a collection of Muhammad's life, what he did, how he did it, and why he did it. Now, considering in Quran, in 91 verses, has been mentioned that Muhammad is a perfect example of a man and his footsteps shall be followed. Sunnah is the second most important book of Islam because it tells Muslims what to do, how to do it, and why to do it. Now, hadith, the word hadith by itself in Arabic means the stories and sayings. Hadith is a collection of things Muhammad said to people around him while he was alive and while he was the prophet of Islam. There are many hadith books out there, but the only one that is completely, supposedly correct is Sahih al-Bukhari. The word Sahih means correct. Al-Bukhari is the name of the imam who put this collection together. Now, if you look at Sahih al-Bukhari, there are 2,230 hadith that are not repeated. The entire book has over 7,700 hadith, but there are repetitions in different translations. But Imam al-Bukhari managed to put together 2,230 stories that translates how Muhammad dealt with situations and the advice he gave to his army, his friends, and his family members. And also, without hadith, the Sharia cannot exist. So combination of Quran, Sunnah makes Islam. Combination of Quran, Sunnah, and hadith is what makes Sharia, which is the Islamic law. I hope that answered your question. If not, don't hesitate to send me an email at truth at americantruthproject.org with any other questions or if you need more details about this specific question. And I make sure to cover that on one of our upcoming segments of Because You Asked. Also, don't forget, go to americantruthproject.org and subscribe for free to our newsletter so you never miss an important episode. I'm Annie Cyrus. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.